We now have 17 maps in Call of Duty's Black Ops 6, so I'm going to break down the best and the worst in this tier list. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. So the levels on this tier list are the best on offer, which are the best maps that we have in Black Ops 6 right now. Then we've got good, you know, those sort of like top tier maps that are pretty solid, pretty good, that you would definitely always want to play. Then we've got solid, which is, you know, kind of, they're not the best, they're definitely not good, but they're definitely not the worst either. You know, you will play them and you can get some work done on them. Then we've got meh, which you're not really too bothered either way if you play them or don't play them. Then we've got bad, which are just straight up as you, as, you know, as it is. It's bad, it's just like you definitely would want to skip it. And then we've got Modern Warfare 2019 levels of bad, which... Those maps would not look out of place in that confusing sort of multiplayer system that we had back in Modern Warfare 2019 in terms of that map design. Now, actually, at the time of recording this voiceover, me speaking to you, Nuketown isn't in the game. However, by the time you watch this, Nuketown will be in the game. However, I don't need to play Nuketown to rate it. I've played Nuketown for years now. I played Nuketown back in the original Black Ops, so I know what to expect from it. I'm actually looking forward to this being put in the game. I'm really looking forward to a dedicated, you know, 24-7 playlist, especially for camel grinding, because right now we have the face-off playlist, which you don't know which map you're going to get so having a dedicated small map playlist for me is going to be great and that's why i put new town as a good map from one town to another, now it's time to look at Low Town. So this map is pretty much a three-lane map, uh, you know, sort of a traditional sort of Call of Duty three-lane map. However, this one uh, falls victim to Call of Duty's recent obsession with putting water in the map. Uh, so water runs through, I think, two parts of this map. Uh, there's bridges you've got to run across, you've got to hop across boats, or you've got to swim. And that one really, really impacts the flow of this map. Uh, and also there's a lot of windows and sort of, like, sort of camping points you can sort of look out at to watch these bridges, watch these crossing points for the water, which really, really makes this map uh, sort of not flow great in any mode, never mind sort of like on projected mode on a sort of team ref match. So for me, this map is pretty bad. Onto the first face-off map for this list, and this is Warhead. Now, this kind of takes vibes of New Town, but it puts them in a much smaller uh, version of it. And for me, this is probably my favourite face-off map. Um, you know, you can sort of get up close and personal, the house in the middle. If you want to do a little bit longer killing, you can uh, sit in the bus, or you can sit in the shed on the roof at the back, and sort of hit those uh, sort of longer shots for snipers or ARs or something like that. I actually really like this map. I like how this map flows. I feel there's a lot of different playstyles you can use in this map. And for me, it's pretty much a solid map. Onto Protocol. Now, this map is just dominated by two buildings that kind of just have upper windows that sort of just out camp each other and um, it's got a lower level like a really really lower level and um it's not great. It doesn't flow well, in my opinion. It's very meh. Now, at the time of recording this, if you were asking the Camel Grinders what map they wanted to play the most, then it would be Stakeout. This is sort of a square map in some sort of apartment building. And don't get me wrong, I really liked this at first when it first came out. I thought, you know what, this is the map I'm going to grind my Camels on. It's pretty good. It's pretty fast-paced. And, you know, I get loads of headshots on it. It's good. However... Ever since they nerfed decoy grenades and you get XP and points for smoke grenades, this map has just become a smoke grenade infested nightmare. You can't see on it, you can't do anything on it. Uh, it's an absolute nightmare. You're just getting shotgun through smoke, you can't see anybody. And for me, this has also now just become a very met map. Onto the first map on this list that was included in the Black Ops 6 beta. This is Skyline. Now, Skyline for me is probably one of the most solid maps that we have in the game right now. I enjoyed it in the beta, I enjoy it in the full game. You know, you can use pretty much any playstyle you want on this map. You can snipe, you can get up close and personal you know there's sort of lots of different modes you can play on it where this map works well especially hard point i think hard point the hard point really does rotate around the map pretty solidly for me it's a solid map it's probably one of the better maps in the game i'm going to put it as solid up next is another beta map and it's derelict now for me again a three lane map i really like the three lane map style of it i'm an old school call of duty player so three lane maps work brilliant for me in my opinion and this one you can always run straight down the middle through all the trains you can run to the left where there's sort of a rock and a bit more open ground you also got a little bit of height then also on the right here as well, you've also got like a little shed building and sort of like a, an electricity thing there. For me, I think the map flows pretty well. Um, however, the one thing that does knock it down for me, I don't know if my screen is too uh, vibrant or not, is the fact that I, visibility on it is really isn't great. You know, I struggle to see people where they are. Uh, so for me, that knocks it down from being a good map to a solid map. Now for Payback. Now Payback is a mana building. Uh, it's a small sort of close quarters match. Uh, there is also sort of longer lines of sight towards the left-hand side of the map, or the right-hand side of the map, depending on where you spawn. For me, this one is actually probably one of my more favourite maps on this game. I'd say it's probably a good map. You know, it's, you kind of get a lot of kill streaks called in it. Um, you know, both teams kind of do pretty well for that, which also helps the launcher challenges, which are beyond difficult, uh, to say the least. So for me, Payback, I actually really enjoy playing it. You know, you can sort of run through, like, the upper floor, you know, where it's a lot uh, closer. You kind of have the sort of longer range of sight. For me, Payback is probably one of the better maps in the game, so that's why I'm putting it in good. Now for Scud. And the less said about this map, the better, to be honest. 
It was in the beta. It was criticised heavily in the beta. It's in the full game. It's probably heavily criticised in the game. The sort of the big satellite dish thing is sort of an OP point. It has no flow to it. This map is Modern Warfare 2019 levels of bad. It feels like we're kind of rattling through the beta maps now, but Rewind was another one on the beta, and I actually really like the setting of this map. It feels very Cold War-esque. Uh, and in particular, sort of like the old school video shop and stuff like that. I actually really enjoy sort of that feel. I love the feel of Cold War's like 80s uh, theme. And obviously this one's going to have a 90s theme, which I'm also kind of really enjoying as well. Sort of late early 80s, early 90s. So again, the theming for this map, for me, is on point. Now, does it play well? Absolutely not. It feels like on certain modes, especially like Team Deathmatch or Kill Confirmed or, you know, um, sort of Domination or stuff like that. It feels like you just run around the map forever and uh, not finding anybody. Uh, it doesn't flow great. So for me, it's a bad map. Now, for me, being a big football fan or soccer, if you're American, having a football stadium themed map in Call of Duty is kind of my dream. I'm a big fan of it. However, they've created a map where you don't actually go on the pitch at all. You kind of just fight around the stands. And let me tell you, this one is just so convolutedly confusing about where people are. There's many different sort of tiers to it where, again, the tiers don't really do much. There's kind of those bounties that have no lines of sight over anything. The kind of middle point is just sort of a kiosk, which is crazy. Uh, you kind of got this long, open sort of, I don't know, concourse. But you've also got like a massive open outdoor bit that no one ever goes into. But there's some, some, uh, some sort of a fan zone. Again, this one... Is something you would see in Modern Warfare 2019. It flows like a Modern Warfare 2019 map. And therefore this one is Modern Warfare 2019 levels of bad. It's probably the worst map in the game to be fair. Subsonic is a aircraft hangar map with sort of an oval shape. So the kind of the hangar actually makes up I'd say probably the left hand side or the right hand side of the map. And then most of the kind of flanks round where you've kind of got this damaged sort of airfield with sort of like broken aeroplanes and sort of creators and stuff like that. Does this map flow great? No. It does not. However, it is good for doing launcher kills and stuff like that. And it does have interactable um, facilities on this map where both hangar doors at both ends can open and close, which kind of does sort of switch up the engagements a little bit. It's not horrendously bad, but it's not great either. I think it's very middle ground for me. I don't mind playing it, but I don't like playing it either. So for me, it's very meh. Now, as I mentioned at the time of recording, Newtown isn't in the game. However, by the time that this video comes out, it will be. And we probably will have a 24-7 Newtown playlist. However, if we could have a 24-7 playlist right now for one map, it would be Babylon. This is a square map with a sort of focal point in the middle where all lanes kind of rush into the middle. But you can flank round. You know, there is longer lines of sight. It is designed for close range fighting, but it's also designed to use snipers on and stuff like that. This map is probably by far the best map in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 right now. For me, it's the one I enjoy the most. It's kind of chaos. It's carnage. I would love to see sort of game modes with longer uh, score uh, like limits on it so we can get longer modes on it. For me, this is the best that we have on offer right now. And if we could have a 24-7 playlist alongside Newtown, I wouldn't be mad about it. Vault is a traditional three-lane map with sort of just a big building in the middle with sort of li uh, lines of side flanking outside of it. You can also flank through the building. There's not an awful lot I'd say about this one. I don't really like like it, but I don't really hate it either. I think it's kind of just a solid map, full stop, really. On a probably what is the worst face-off map on this list, this is Gala. And it's set in sort of Washington, D.C. It looks like it's like it being a party rally or something. I imagine it's linked to the campaign. I haven't played the campaign yet. I've been grinding multiplayer that much. However, there's not one part of this map that isn't wall-bangable. If you were trying to do penetration kills back in Modern Warfare 3, you would have absolutely loved to have played this map. But on Black Ops 6, it just is so bad. It's the worst face-off map by far. It's very rare that you will actually get put on this map. The only time I've ever really been put on this map is when I've loaded into it, like, sort of a game in progress. I've never seen anyone vote for this map to be like, you know what, I want to play Gala. However, I will say that if you try to do snipers and face-off, Gala is probably the map that you want. But for me, it's a bad map. It was one of the face-off maps that was in the beta alongside Gala. Uh, and for me, this one is actually one of the more underrated face-off maps. Now, if you're in the face-off playlist, you're probably going to see that people are going to vote to skip Gala and Pit in favour of Stakeout and Warhead. Everyone who just wants Stakeout, as I've already mentioned, for camos. However, this one, uh, uh, Pit, I actually really enjoy. I feel like it's actually got a little bit more to it. Uh, sort of the lanes aren't like sort of straight lanes. They're kind of like, it's like an eighth shape with a little bit of high ground as well. And me personally, I actually really like this map. Um, again, it offers a very different play styles. You can snipe in it, you can sort of use ARs, you can get up close and personal. I've seen a lot of people doing like sort of nine uh, kills and uh, baseball bat kills in this map. For me, I actually really like this map. I'm going to put this one as good. And the last map that we have on this list is Vokuda. Now, Vokuda is the gulag that you break out of in the original Black Ops campaign. However, there's no sort of underground aspect of this map. It's all above ground. Uh, it's all kind of in the industrial part of the gulag. Uh, and for me, it plays horrendously. <laughs> It's such a homage back to the original Black Ops, and yet, 
It's been done to death. It's such a bad map. It's a snowy map. There's not many times I've played this map where, unless it's been kill order because the score goes so quick, that I've played this map where it's actually gone to the full score limit. It's too big. It's too open. There's not a lot, lot going on. For me, it's bad. So this is what we come up with. I've got Babylon as the very best map right now in Black Ops 6 at the time of recording. However, who knows? Newtown could overtake that spot and it could be the best map that we'll have in the game. At the very worst, we've got Scud, uh, which I think is very self-explanatory, and Red Card, also very self-explanatory. Let me know what you think about the Black Ops 6 maps and let me know what your favourite and your worst is in the comments below.